going on? Real run. No way. I mean, he's run right back. Whoa. I had the line this reeled This is salmon, so. Oh, it's the salmon, I think. Yeah. Or it could be, you know, one of them big old log lip chubs. No way. That's running. No, oh, no, this, this is, is no salmon. Chub. We were way up top on this, this uh, Yeah, but this thing's run twice like that. Yeah. He's taking Lighting out all that run. friggin' line. I didn't know what you guys were doing. No, I get it reeled up and he runs all it all right, right back we, out. The moment of truth. Probably about 12 inches. Oh, he's more than that. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Oh, he going again. Let him. Yeah. Oh, I got it. I'm not, you know. Let him run. That's the third. <laughs> that's, that's the third run. I've never seen a guy throw this line at it. Oh, yeah, he just lets it go and he runs again. Yeah, we he lose. Ain't, yeah, he ain't breaking it off. We lose everything we gained. Yeah, just hire him out. We will. He'll get him. He's, he, we got the legend on the job. Yes. The legend. <laughs> uh, you should have seen him yesterday riding that slosh. He was our last hope to get off the lake without walking two miles. You need a hand? Well, I might. Ow. You know, once he sees that hole, he I haven't goes. seen him yet. If he hits that daylight and he's gone. You watch if he does it again. I haven't seen him. The minute he hits daylight. Oh, was he stuck on the ice? I've thrown the trap. We haven't seen it yet, though. I haven't seen him. No, we don't know what he is. Look at him. Look at him. Oh, I just snubbed him. Look at him. <laughs> wow. And all wow. you've ever had a fight like this on a salmon? Wow, no, well, not really. I've seen one do this. Not since pike fishing. Holy. No, because they no, just. pike. I mean, it was just like when we were pike fishing. This he... isn't going back. Letting it run. Your line's a little frayed right here, just is so it? you know. Well, no, yeah. it's a huge salmon. It is huge. Nice salmon. Brick, get him up. His head's coming. Oh, Donnie. Donnie. Yes, Donnie. sir. Donnie. 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 <laughs> oh, my freaking well, work. Beautiful fish. <laughs> How, what kind of fight was that? He <laughs> made like five runs. Oh. Whoa. Well, here we are in my kitchen. Yesterday I filleted out some landlocked salmon. Last night I marinated it. What I did, I added a little pickling salt, brown sugar, and maple syrup. We wanted kind of a sweet tasting uh, fish. So I've let it sit all night and, and now it's about uh, two o'clock in the next day. And so we're about to put it on the smoker. I put in a couple of three pieces of cusk just to try it see how that how that's going to work out all right i'll take this out by the smoker i preheated or it's preheating right now uh everybody's going to want to know about this g what year's that Jeep? 1946 Jeep. Uh, so here's a smoker. I haven't put any wood chips in it yet. But uh, I got a couple racks here. I used some olive oil spray to put on the rack so it helps it helps keep the fish from sticking. I've also put a pan of water in here. I, I kind of put water in there to give it a little moisture as it's smoking. So here are the cusk fillets. <laughs> these are these are some small salmon and we believe me we didn't catch them illegally we caught them in a lake where they want the salmon taken out so i put the skin side down which helps it from some sticking to the rack
Well, those are small salmon. Those are. <laughs> you could catch a trout bigger than those. Alright, there's one rack. Yeah, we got the big fillets of. Is that the big one? This is the big one. Oh, this is, yeah, this is the big one. All right. We'll let it close it up and let it catch up on the temperature a little bit. So I got four kinds of wood that we can put in it. We can use any one or a combination. I got mesquite chips. I got hickory chips. I got apple chips. And I, when I was doing a, uh, a a maple tree, a rock maple that blew down, I chipped up some small chips of maple. So we can use a variety which I think might be good just for the heck of it. I kind of like alder and and uh, applewood is really the best. I'm going to put some of each one in here. dumps it into a, a tray which is over the electric heater. So we give it a, a minute and the heat's up to one about 140. I like to smoke about two or two to 225 for about an hour then I check it and uh, you know I'll check it periodically but what I want to do is to put a little pure maple syrup on them during this smoking process to really sweeten them up. Uh, it's a sit and wait situation now. <laughs> <laughs> They're not ready yet. Oh. No, I'm just, I'm just uh, sweetening them up a little bit. But look, I like the color. It's coming nice. I'm putting that maple syrup on them. Let that work its way into them and smells good. You really have to be cool to taste oh, the really? best, I okay. think. We'll just see what it's... <laughs> oh, good color. Let that cool off a bit, and then we'll try it. Boy, I need a new gasket around this door. Seems like these thin ones are done. Look out for pellets. Yeah. Let it cool off another minute or two. It does taste good. Mmm. You're gonna like that. Yeah, so that's about the end of the smoke, and we're gonna let it sit in there. That we tried a little piece here and it's Really good. I, I would say it could probably stand a little bit more time in the smoker. But it's very sweet. It's got that maple flavor. So that's basically all there is to smoking. It's pretty simple. And uh, it comes out really well, I think. So give it a try if you uh, 
have a smoker or even if you don't buy one. <laughs> <laughs>